Join us this week as we trudge out of the woods in Stahican, Washington. Happy campers on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Happy campers! We hit a few snags on our way out to Prince Creek, but the team rallies around for some necessary boosts of motivation. And maybe, just maybe, we make it out. <laughs> I'm Riss, and this is Huck. Join us as we explore the beautiful Pacific Northwest this summer. You might see sideways rain, mosquitoes, and less than ideal conditions but you'll also see good friends and some amazing adventures. Stay tuned, because it's all part of my Beargrass summer. Good morning from day three on trail. How we doing day two? Feeling pretty good, well rested. Amazing. Probably a full eight hours, maybe seven with my hour-long nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Megan? Katie, Matt, how are we feeling? Day two? Great. I guess it's kind of day three. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> the team knows the task today will be harder than the day before. It starts out with a grueling 400-foot climb before settling into rolling hills for the next 12 miles. It's, it's being God. Break the fourth wall. The plan is to get from Moore Point, where we camped last night, to Prince Creek, where we'll spend the night and be picked up by the boat the next day. I'm getting footy of everyone trying to navigate this log. Megan just went with the butt technique. Wow. That's not a bad look. Give me your thoughts on this. What's your, stra what's your strategy here? Um, this is McDonald on Stahican. Welcome I, to the show. <laughs> thanks for having me. You're um, well, you know, I, I had... I'm definitely not going to do that. I'll say that. I'm not going to go with the butt strap. I, what I had imagined doing was potentially a crab walk, belly up. Now that I'm seeing it, I'm thinking that I would love to see that. I might go classic turtle. Yeah. Good. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. Back to you, Thanks Noah. for being on the show. Oh, you're so welcome. Anytime. This trail serves up some amazing views of the lake around every bend. After a few hours of hiking, the group takes a pack soft break to collect some water and eat some snacks. This is when we realized how slow we are actually hiking. Not only had it taken us three hours to go three miles, but it meant that with half the day gone, we still had over seven miles to go and we were already exhausted. With tired faces, watch us attempt to rally. Uh, let's go. Uh, Happy campers on three. One, two, three. Happy campers! We finally start to make up some ground and pick up the pace, but we keep encountering obstacles that slow us down, especially as a group of 10. Pretty soon, we are ravenously hungry and dragging our way towards lunch. Hey, Scott. Hey. How's it going? Oh, you know. I feel like they're gonna try to take us to have lunch right here. We finally stopped for lunch. Um, here's how it went. <laughs> Noah's in a ditch. Uh, I polished up some cheese. I ate two builder's bars. Each one has 20 grams of protein. Just now realizing what that's going to do to my body. Uh, <laughs> Noah's back. I don't, I we still have three and a half miles. I don't know how this is gonna go, but here we are. After lunch, we have the final push towards camp, which includes its fair share of steep inclines. Finally, we descend down towards the lake and navigate to the campground, but not without first getting lost and needing to backtrack. 
sweet, sweet relief finally comes. Many of us are haggard from the day with various injuries flaring up, but now that we're here, we set out to explore our home for the night. Hey. ITM from Prince Creek, we made it, and here we are. The water is beautiful. People are gonna jump in, Riss is gonna jump in. It was a hard, uh, hard day of hiking, but we made it. We did. We're the only people at this campground, and it felt like a luxury compared to the close quarters of our sleeping arrangements the night before. After a quick dip, we set out to get warm and make some dinner before sitting on the fire and enjoying being off our feet. I just don't have rain On the last day it was drizzling, which we knew was in the forecast, and we were thankful it held off as long as it did. With the boat not arriving until the afternoon, we cozied up next to the fire and lingered over cups of coffee. The only one who still had energy to spare was Huckleberry, so she got a bit of playtime with Uncle Matt. This morning was a nice change of pace for our sore feet. We enjoyed some games and naps for the rest of the morning. <laughs> Time to ITM. <laughs> mm. How's your day been? Great. Relax. <laughs> it's the last day. Fairy's picking this up in a couple hours. My blood sugar is very low. <laughs> because I don't want to eat anything sweet. That's mm -hmm. the only thing we have left. So really, it's my fault. I shouldn't complain about it. I'm going to get chips on the ferry. <laughs> no matter the price. No matter the price. <laughs> we do. As the afternoon approached, we couldn't help think about the boat. For the life of us, we couldn't remember what time we were scheduled to be picked up, and we didn't write it down. We knew it had to be in the early afternoon sometime based off of what we knew about the boat schedule, but another group came in and remembered a totally different time than what we would have guessed. This gave us enough uneasiness that we distracted ourselves for a bit longer before packing up early to be ready at any time. We are waiting for the boat to come pick us up, the Lady of the Lake specifically. We are all packed and enjoying the newfound lightness of our packs. Um, so we have eaten all of the food and have a massive trash bag. And it feels like the sun might be trying to break through right now because there's some warmth on my legs. And yeah, just enjoying the dock here while we wait. We're a little hungry. We had plenty of time to hang out on the dock and do some fishing. This time, however, the fish were biting and we were thoroughly entertained. Nice job, Meg! <laughs> it's a beaut! Yeah. Look at that. Yes, sir. <laughs> you got this, Meg. Finally, the boat arrived, making a special stop to pick us and this other group up on its way back to Chelan. By this point, we were a bit chilled and ready to get on the long road home.
Right. ITM Scott. All right, we're on the boat, going home. We're up front. Weather decent. Uh, praying I get a cup of coffee. It's about where we're at. I want potato. I think it's the main food group I want for dinner. Lauren seconds my potato. I'm over. We were able to sit together on the bow of the boat. Puck enjoyed her last bully stick, and we enjoyed snacks and hot drinks before finally making it back to our cars. Another successful Stahican trip in the books. Huckleberry, is this not time for your ITM? Oh, I'm sorry to wake you. Well, how do you feel? Upset, tired, <laughs> hungry. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> It was authentic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to backpacking edition of my backpack cribs version. <laughs> so we'll start with the basics here. Some hiking boots. Scott is hiking boots. Please. Coffee. Franco. Beanie. Oh, Co color coordinated beanie. You gotta look good out here in the wilderness. Packing cubes. <laughs> because why not? Headlamp, buff, necessary fanny pack if you're a dude. This is not a normal iPhone charger. This charges, I think, a full battery in like 30 minutes. So, some wallet, phone, key action. Toiletries will last me a lifetime. Entertainment. There's no TVs out here, so. Some chest and checkers. <laughs> it's Pendleton, too. That's brand name stuff there. <laughs> Glass bottle of bourbon that's empty. Two tequilas. <laughs> Jim Beam as well, because <laughs> this is the reason we go outdoors. Binoculars, you see? Massage gun. <laughs> More clothes. <laughs> Snacks. Wait for it. I'm not done yet. A bone saw, in case I have a moment where I get caught and I need to like, <laughs> 27 hours, you know, action up in here. <laughs> 